Welcome to Paris for the Paris Men's Fashion Week, Fall Winter 2020. The Paris Men's Fashion Week is always a great party for the fashion industry, with all the movers and shakers coming to town. There is something here for everyone, from glamour and sophistication to cool extravagance. We'll be taking a look at the breathtaking shows from Louis Vuitton and Dior Homme, both defining the new decade to come with future classics. And also the next wave of European and Asian talent as they fly in with their new collections. Whilst exciting Australian newcomer Jordan Fresher at Riot Hill rocks the runway with his street-influenced leisure wear. Sit back and take note. The boys and girls are back in town. Inspired by heaven, fashion designer Virgil Abloh of Louis Vuitton presents a breathtaking show here in Paris. He said the collection is about being open-minded and free, and it certainly does feel inspired as he takes us to Wonderland. You're joining me at the Palais Tokyo in Paris, where Tatras has just revealed its Fall Winter 2020 collection in collaboration with Riot Hill. It's one of the top highlights of this Paris Men's Fashion Week. It's actually the launch of a career of an extraordinary designer, Jordan Fresher. Daphne, we're in Paris. Backstage at the Palais Tokyo, before, just before this beautiful show, we had a preview. It's really amazing. You know what um, strikes me about Paris Fashion Week, the men's fashion week? It's becoming more creative now that even the women's. You know, what cinema stands for is gender diversity and cultural diversity, but also individuality and innovation. 
and I think the Men's Fashion Week in Paris is capturing all of it. So we are here in Paris, behind the scenes of Tatra's Riot Hill new show. Are you excited about it? I'm very excited. We waited a long time to get here and we're finally here and I'm excited to see the ending result. I haven't seen anything yet, so I'm excited and I'm proud of Jordan and Brooklyn. They've came a long way. Riot Hill is a brotherhood and sisterhood that we created and our designer Jordan Freshery has a clear vision to uh, what he wants and exactly how he wants to portray this brand. Me as the CEO of Riot Hill, I leave him all his creativity. His process is all his. I just want to be able to get the platform. This brand right now is for its time. And you discovered Jordan, how did that come about? I discovered him in Perth, Australia on tour of the Starboy tour with The Weeknd. And he saw his designs and he was like blown away. And to me, it translated that innovation comes from every corner of the world. Special kid, very special guy. I can't wait to show the world what he has. What inspired you for this collection? I don't really have a direct inspiration. I think the environment I'm creating is almost greater than the clothes, you know? Obviously, like, some pieces are heavy, military-inspired, Swiss military, the pieces, but I think the casting really spoke for itself. And for this show today, it's a collaboration with Tatras, right? Yes, I think they've done a great job. The quality of their products is amazing. We had a plan to start business in, in USA. So that's why I uh, visited Los Angeles. Because we have much knowledge about material and factory and your know, sewing technique. We, we want to you know, support a new talent and new generation. So that's why so I, we want to make collaboration with them. I mean, Tatch has just opened my world up to everything, you know? This collaboration, I've just learned so much. I'm so grateful for this opportunity, really. I love the fact that, they, that The weekend and Brooklyn are looking for innovation instead of the norm where things come from in sort of fashion by committee. That cinema is the kind of television network that is on the same page as them because we are all about high fashion that is attached to individuality. We showed out at the highest level and we did what we were supposed to do in Paris and going forward, there's no stopping it, right here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We are here at the Place de la Concorde in the heart of Paris, where one of the most anticipated shows is about to happen, Dior Homme for Paris Men's Fashion Week.
Designing duo Paul Gracia de Oteiza and Caterina Pañeda are the keepers of Spanish tailoring, reinventing classic men's fashion with a strong Spanish flavor. Lumière is the name of their new Fall Winter 2020 collection presented at Paris Men's Fashion Week. Marcello Costa, Team MC, Team Cinema. Thank you for coming, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, the makeup today was based on uh, Misha Vick, which is an amazing artist. That's why I was so many uh, directional lines and, and everything was so aligned with the outfits. Um, the hair have to be very natural. And when I have the first meeting with the designer, our main concern was not to create a character, but create a high fashion version of their culture. So no matter how great the collection is, the makeup can definitely break the exposure. We do discuss prior, but when I see the collection, I start feeling the texture, you know, and that, how that texture photographs. I know it's a whole science behind it. Like so I always tell people, it takes them even a year to get a collection together. And for us, it's, it's, it's just a couple hours uh, for hair and makeup. But we have to respect that, you know, the passion that was put into each sim of that outfit uh, and that garment. Paul and Katerina, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you on our show. If you could please start by introducing yourself. Okay, we are partners in crime, in life, in fashion and in everything and hopefully for many, many years. And sometimes it's difficult no, to work to, with a couple, but the exits and the success and everything is doubled when you work with someone you love and you love what you do. So we couldn't be happier. We are working in a deep uh, inspiration of Spanish traditions, but in the avant-garde uh, also, no? We use the, the, the Spanish wool, Spanish merino wool. The merino is the, the new age uh, fabric, no? We try to do materials that are really, really noble, that right. even they're gonna survive you. You don't need to have many, because one is, is a top quality and it's gonna last forever. But do you prefer to design for men or for women? What we like about our garments is that men feel really, really attractive and really masculine. We focus more on men because we think that men need a help you know, in, in, in terms of men's fashion because formal wear is a little bit uh, asleep no, in, in, a, in a state of lethargy. Because women have so many possibilities, it's better to focus on men. Tonight we saw what we call a presentation. Yeah. Is it your preference to work on presentations where we have the time to look at the garments, at the dresses, rather than a usual catwalk show that lasts five minutes and it's over? Well, we like them both. I think the first step is to get people to know your work and that you have to do it in two hours and a half and have the opportunity of explaining and, and have the time for interviews. Uh, it, there are different uh, shows, obviously. We love the filet. We hopefully do one, too, because all the energy is condensed. Yeah. But we, uh, what we say is that we can be happier of being in the Paris Fashion Week. For us, it's a dream. Fashion designer Oliver Roustang presents a collection of subtle, fluid designs for Balmain at Paris Men's Fashion Week. It featured safari jackets, silky drapes and desert sandals. It continued the Lawrence of Arabia theme that the 33 years old designer has toyed with in previous seasons.
I am at the American Cathedral on Avenue Georges V in Paris. It has been the spiritual home to the English-speaking community for over 150 years. And today, it's where Danish fashion designer Henrik Vipskov is presenting his new collection as part of Paris Men's Fashion Week. You're joining me in an industrial warehouse on the east side of Paris, where Belgian fashion designer Walter van Berendonck has just presented his latest collection for Paris Men's Fashion Week. Walter, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. It's a great show, full of color, really exciting and full of positive messaging as well. Yeah, it's, it's full of messages, but it's also very critical because I think we are living in a very tense world. A lot is happening. I call the collection War, which is not about war, but it's about Walter about rights. I chose that five months ago and now suddenly we are at the... I, there's a war almost going on in our world, so it is also like a coincidence. And that's why I, I, I'm starting really the collection with this spikes up feeling that you really have to protect yourself against this, this dark world. And then it's evolving more into beauty, into color, into nature. And that's how I feel today that the, the world is, is uh, evolving. And, and it's a bit like a wake up call as well. I mean, yeah, 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 wake up call. Uh, definitely also for the fashion world. I'm also criticizing, like fast fashion, I'm criticizing certain um, copycat uh, attitudes. Yeah, we have to cherish creativity. It's uh, one of the main, very important part of fashion. And I'm sometimes very disappointed that certain designers or fashion houses are are working in, yeah, in different ways, which have nothing to do anymore with pure creation. There's something we have to to live with, but at the same time we have to fight it, that uh, there is a, a positive evolution, otherwise we lose yeah, planet Earth. I even have messages from aliens that uh, say, please save planet Earth, so yeah. it's also there. Uh, yeah, we, we have to care for it. Yeah. And last thing you uh, design, create exclusively for men, is that right? No, 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 I mean, I present it on men, but uh, at the end it is also worn by, by men and by women and uh, and boys and girls, and uh, but it, it has not so much to do with gender, it's also gender free, and yeah, you know, it's men and women. Yeah. Excellent.
Thank you very much and congratulations again. Pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Valentino Fall Winter 2020 menswear collection was beautiful, delicate and useful. Designer Pier Paolo Piccioli used graphic floral prints, a detail that was carried through with cherry blossom placed in the model's hair, a show of taste and grace. Hope you enjoy the show. Until the next fashion season, it's a goodbye from me, Julien Planté, and a goodbye from the whole team at Cinémois. Au revoir. <laughs>